Hello, my name is Sarah and this is Sand and Seed Tarot. Welcome to your reading, Libra. Um, first of all, I wanna say Merry Christmas. This is Christmas Eve that I'm recording this. This is a timeless reading though, so whenever you stumble across this reading is when you're intended to see it. This is intended for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If something doesn't resonate, I highly recommend that you just leave, leave it behind. If it doesn't fit, if it doesn't feel good, just leave it behind. Um, also check out your other placements to see if one of my other readings fits a little bit better for you. Um, there is going to be an extended for this reading and I'll talk about that more towards the end of this reading. In this reading, we're gonna be looking at the current energy for you, the current energy for your person and the current energy of the relationship, situationship. With that being said, this really is intended for those of you that already have a romantic partner, um, someone that you've been on and off with. It could be an ex-partner, someone that you possibly have met. Um, this is definitely not for singles. Um, for those of you that are looking for a new love, just because of the question I'm asking, this is not gonna be intended for you. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start this reading by pulling some initials here. These could be the initials of your person. These could be the initials of you. Okay, so what I have here are the letters I, S, two S's actually, L, A, Q, Y, E, H, and C. So again, the letters I have are I, two S's, L, A, Q, Y, E, C, and H. If I didn't pull your initials, it doesn't mean that this reading is not intended for you. Sometimes it's just really nice to solidify the reading by seeing like, oh, that's my person's initials, or oh, that's my initials. Um, okay, so in this reading, I'm gonna be starting off using the Romantic Tarot deck. Um, this deck, I love it because there's people on every single image. However, it does not line up with Rider Waite. Um, there are some things that are just way off, not even close to being Rider Waite. So even though they say it's a tarot deck, it's not Rider Waite. So sometimes it takes me a few minutes to read the card and see what it's trying to tell me because I have to look at the illustration. With that being said, I did have someone that was commenting on another reading and perhaps they skipped over this part because someone had put down a timestamp about when I actually started the reading. So they skipped this part and they started commenting on what a certain card meant and had they listened, they would have known that this does not line up with Rider Waite. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, Rider Waite, that's fine. But for those of you that do read tarot, please do not interpret what the cards say or what they should say. If you feel like you know what the reading says, then I highly recommend you do your own reading instead of coming on the channel and trying to say what you think the cards mean. That's very disrespectful. Um, sorry, just had to do a little rant there. I almost posted that in the community, but I decided not to. Anyhow, let's get on with your reading, Libra. I did shuffle all of these decks already, but i um, just gonna give it a quick little shuffle here. Tell me about the situation with Libra and their person. What's the current situation, current energy? What's the current energy for Libra and their person and the relationship? Okay, so the underlying energy is the Seven of Coins, also known as the Seven of Pentacles. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. This card looks nothing like how a Rider weight um, interpretation would be. So normally in a Rider weight card, this would mean um, patiently waiting for a harvest. This would be investing in something. You don't get that here at all. There's nothing to indicate that there's any kind of investment here or waiting. What I see here is impatience. Um, if you look, this woman is running. She's rushing off to the building here. So I do feel like someone is getting really impatient and just wants to hurry things along here. Um, I feel like this is also the energy of wanting something like wanting something discussed and come to a conclusion, meaning like you just wanna know where is this going? Give me an answer. Do you see a reconnection with me? Do you see us getting back together? 
Um, do you see this relationship lasting? Tell me yes or no. Because the, if the answer is no, I'm going to move on. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up here is that someone is being very impatient, um, tired of waiting and just wants to know so that they can be loose to pursue other things or if they're going to continue to wait on this connection. Okay, so now let's look at, let's look at your energy here, Libra, your current energy. So you have the Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles, in other words. You have the Ten of Wands. And you have the Seven of Cups. So let's look at the energy of your person. What's their current energy? They have the Page of Cups. The Three of Swords. And this is the sun. So let's look at the current situation, the energy of the current situationship, relationship. There is the justice card. Four of swords. And this is judgment. So we have justice and judgment. I do feel like a lot of this energy is coming here from you where you just want an answer to know whether or not you should wait for this person or if you should move on. And I'm looking at your energy here with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. And I'm still getting that kind of energy from you. So with the Ace of Pentacles here, the Ace of Coins, um, you definitely want some kind of new beginning and you were looking for something long-term. You're looking for long-term stability, security, um, like you want a committed relationship here. Who doesn't, right? Um, so that is your desire. You also have the Ten of Wands here. So this is the energy about you feel like you've been on this journey with this current person a very long time. You feel like you've been waiting patiently. You've been waiting for movement. You're not really seeing much of it. And when I look at this image here, um, my focus is not even on this couple that's talking. My focus is on this poor person that is climbing the stairs. It's like some kind of metro system, right? So they just took the train or something and they're climbing the stairs and there's like several flights of stairs this person has climbed up and this person is exhausted. Um, so that's the energy I'm getting is exhaustion, that you feel like you just traveled a long distance, you've been on this journey a long time with this person. Um, for some of you, this could be years of off and on with this person, or if it's not even off and on, it could just be years without this person like fully committing to something that you desire, like marriage, engagement. So for some of you, this is a person you've been with for a long time. For some of you, this is a person you've been on and off with for a long time. And long time is relative. Um, for some of you, it could be years that you've been at it. For some of you, this could be, you know, 10 months, a year. The other thing about your energy here is you have the Seven of Cups. So this is confusion. Um, you are confused about the situation. You are questioning, like, am I wasting my time here? Should I be dating others? Um, I know I could easily date other people. There's other people that are interested in me. Am I wasting my time and not exploring my options? And I see this here because it's like this person is courting this girl who's holding this fan and she's, she's liking the attention, but she's like wondering like, huh, is this like the only guy? Is this the only guy that, you know, is interested in me in this room? Um, 
so it's kind of like there is a feeling of looking to other options. So your person here, your person's cards are quite interesting. They have the Page of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Sun. Page of Cups. So this is the energy of someone that wants to reach out and connect with you. Um, this is definitely a message. It's usually a message of good news. In this case, I do feel like it's an apology. This person wants to apologize for something, something that they've done, something that they said. But there definitely is some emotion here for you. This person has emotions, emotions for you. Okay, and then we have the Three of Swords. Um, there is some pain here. So this could be your person is feeling the pain. So for some of you, this could be your person is feeling the pain of the loss of this communicate, uh, loss of this connection. There could be a loss of communication. Um, so your person is feeling the pain of not connecting with you. Um, for some of you, there was a third party. We'll clarify and see if this comes up as a third party, but in some cases, the Three of Swords can be seen as a third party, and especially there's three people in this, and you have one person that is victorious and stabbed the other. So, um, you know, for some of you, there could have been a third party situation. And that could also be your energy here with the Seven of Cups. For those of you that are in a third party situation, this could be your energy of, am I just an option? Am I just an option to this person? Your person also has the sun card. This is one of the best cards in tarot. This is joy, happiness, complete bliss. This is healing. I do feel like this person does not want this connection over with. So you're sitting there confused, wondering if this person is treating you as an option. You've been at it a long time with this person. Um, and yet your person sees it as, yeah, I made a mistake. I caused you some heartbreak. I know I owe you an apology, but at the end of the day, you bring me a lot of joy and happiness. So the sun card is a Leo. And that's all we have showing up there right now. There are a lot of cups here. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Let's look at the energy of the current situation. The current situation energy here is the Justice card. So um, I feel like maybe this relationship was not very fair. Someone wasn't treated fairly. So I do feel like there's a feeling of someone trying to make things right now in this connection, trying to rescale those um, or rebalance the scales here to make them more equal where people are, both parties are investing emotions, time, investments in this connection. Justice card is Libra energy. I feel like someone feels like they completely lost their mind in this connection, like um, I feel like this is you, Libra, because obviously this is your energy here with the Le with the Justice card. This is your card. Your um, it's major for Libra. So I feel like you think you've somehow lost your head in this connection. Um, I don't feel like it's in a good way. I feel like you think like you put so much of your heart into this connection, and you've been on the this long journey with this person and you feel like you don't even know where your head is anymore. I do feel like there's heavy confusion around here, but there, uh, there's also this energy where there, the scales are trying to be rebalanced. So there is trying to be a rebalancing of energy here. Um, someone is trying to make things right. So I feel like that's the energy of your person. Your person is trying to make things right in this connection. You have the Four of Swords here too as the current energy. So Four of Swords, this tells me like there's some quietness going on here. Um, quietness is more like the Rider Waite um, reading. In this particular card, you don't really get quietness. Um, you see two couples dancing. But they're not communicating. 
they're communicating, you know, through dance. This isn't the time to be having like a serious conversation. Um, it's just like enjoying the moment. So um, that's what I feel is like there's some still in it. There's some stillness here, some quietness. Um, this is not the time to have a deep conversation. That's what I'm getting. So even though there's this energy of, you know, someone trying to make things right, for some reason right now is not the right time to have this deep conversation. You desire it, obviously, because you want to know where are things headed? Am I just an option? But I feel like right now is not the right time. And then there's the judgment card. So judgment card is about a spiritual awakening, um, being heard. So even though there's this desire to have this conversation to maybe get out your feelings to this person, maybe you want to tell this person how you felt led on, um, make up your mind, that kind of thing. It's like you really want this person to hear you. You want this person to understand what you've gone through with this person. But um, I, again, I feel like right now is not the best time for that. Um, the... Judgment card is often seen as reconciliation, reuniting, reunion. So um, I feel like that could be happening as well. Also a reawakening of this connection, reawakening things, making it alive again. Maybe this connection has been very dead. <clears throat> um, this is Scorpio energy here. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify now. And we're going to be using the... I'm going to be using the, um, this is Arthur Edward Waite holographic tarot. This is Rider Waite. So let's go ahead and see. Tell me about Libra's situation. Libra's energy here in this situation ship. Tell me about Libra's energy, current energy for Libra. Current energy for Libra's person and the connection. Bottom of the deck is Ace of Swords. So you definitely want to have some kind of conversation with this person. You want to have an honest conversation with them. <clears throat> Let's look at yours here. So why the Ace of Pentacles? Why is that Ace of Pentacles here? You have the sun. You're mirroring your person here. You feel like you both are on the same page here. Your person feels like you bring a lot of happiness and joy, fulfillment, this is like extreme happiness, extreme joy to this connection. So you really want a new start at something long-term with this person because you feel like this is your forever person. You feel like no one has ever made you feel this happy in a connection. So that is Leo energy there. Um, why this 10 of wands? Queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles is Capricorn energy here. Um, you feel like you have been waiting a long time for a committed relationship from this person, um, something established, long-term security, um, you know, marriage. Why the seven of cups? Ten of cups. So you're questioning, you know, am, am I just an option here? Am I just an option? Because, you know, my purpose here is to be with someone that truly loves me, sees me as home, wants to build a, a family with me, wants to, you know, wants the same things that I do, marriage and all that. So obviously this is what you want. You feel like somehow you're just an option, but I feel like you also feel deep down that this person is your person as well, especially with the sun card there. Um, you do feel like this person is home. This is the person that you see building a loving, deep, loving, committed relationship with. So let's look at your person's energy here now. Why that page of cups? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your person did something here. They, they did something with this tower card. This is Aries energy. Um, 
which disrupted this connection. Either it totally broke this relationship, um, it changed something in this relationship, but you know, the tower is always seen as something bad, but in a lot of cases, the tower moments need to happen so that there can be a change for the better. You have to sometimes rebuild from the start, you know, so you can't just keep on stacking on like the analogy of putting a bandaid over a wound. It's like, you're not really dealing with what's causing the wound when you just keep on slapping a new band-aid on top of the old band-aid. You know, it's like, no, you need to get down and clean the wound, you know, and then put a bandage over it. But you can't just keep on slapping a band-aid over it all the time thinking it's going to heal. So your person definitely wants to apologize for some some kind of major change, disruption, ending of this connection that they caused. Why that three of swords? Why the three of swords? And I do believe this was a third party. You have the three of pentacles here. So threes are often seen as third parties. So you have, you know, the three, three of swords, which is some kind of painful ending, heartbreak, third party. And now you have the three of pentacles clarifying again. Again, there's three people in this image here. So I do feel like um, there was a breakup. There was an ending of this relationship and your person chose a third party. At the same time, this person does want to work together with you as a team. They want to work towards the same goal with you now. So let's look at that sun. Why the sun? <laughs> the world. Well, you have the sun and the world clarifying the sun. Amazing. The world is Capricorn energy here. So again, the sun is about hope, joy, complete happiness, complete bliss, um, ultimate happiness, um, positivity, like just being really optimistic that things are going to work out in this connection. And why? Because your person feels like you are going to complete. The world is all about completing fulfillment. So your person does desire to complete this connection, fulfill a wish here, which is to come back in together and start the new cycle. The new cycle would be taking this relationship to the next level. So let's look at the current energy of the situation here. So we have the justice card. So let's clarify that justice card. Why the justice card? High Priestess. So the high priestess is about secrets, mystery. There's um, something that's being hidden. The high priestess doesn't speak about anything. She just keeps it to herself. I feel like even though you were being treated unfairly by this person, uh, I do feel like you were not like blatantly telling this person how they were mistreating you. I feel like you kept this all in and you were trying to seek inner guidance. I feel like you knew something was off. You knew why you weren't being treated fairly. And it was because this person was investing energy somewhere else. Um, so it was like your inner intuition was like telling you something was off here. A high priestess is cancer energy, but you know, this person, the intentions are here to make things right. I think they're just not speaking about it right now. They're, they're still trying to figure out how to make things right. So they're listening to their own guidance to figure out what to do here. Let's pull another one. Why the justice card? Knight of Pentacles. So this is Virgo energy. So yeah, this person wants to make things right. So they're, they're listening to wisdom, higher wisdom. They're seeking answers. Um, ultimately for the intention to progress things forward nice and slowly here with this Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is about loyalty. This person is very loyal. Um, it's slow progress, but it's progress towards something long-term and secure here with you. So let's look at the Four of Swords. Why that Four of Swords? Hmm. Seven of Swords. 
There's stillness and quietness that's going on right now. Remember I said this is not the time to have this deep conversation. Um, yes, you do feel like there's some kind of deception that's going on here. This could also be the energy of you not trusting this person. So you're not trusting them um, during this time that there's not this honest communication coming forward. Let's pull another one. Why the Four of Swords? Queen of Cups. So even though there's, I feel like there's very limited communication that's happening here, um, your person's hiding their feelings here. So they're, they want to have this conversation with you, but there is this feeling of hiding their emotions, hiding their feelings. Queen of Cups is cancer energy here. Why the judgment card? This is often seen as second chance. So why... The judgment card. Ace of Pentacles. Yep. New beginning here. There's a new beginning for something long-term and stable. Ace of Pentacles for me is often taking things to the next level. You have that with the world also. Um, so I do feel like this person really wants to take things to the next level with you. I often see the Ace of Pentacles as a wedding band. So I do feel like your person plans to um, take this to engagement and marriage. Okay, so now we're going to pull two things that your person wants you to know right now. What's two things Libra's person wants them to know right now? We have the Page of Wands. One more. Nine of Wands. Page of Wands, this is definitely a message that's coming your way. This person wants to communicate with you. They're planning to communicate with you. Um, I feel like this person is trying to tell you that they want to bring more romance into this relationship. They want to start like courting you over again. Um, this person is also very passionate about you. Um, I feel like their intentions are very pure. They're very, very attracted to you. You are the only person that they have their eyes set on. So you were wondering like, you know, am I just an option before with the seven of cups? You're not. This person only has their gaze set upon you. So I feel like that's what they want you to know is that there isn't anyone else. Um, and then we have the nine of wands here. So nine of wands is often being um, seen as the wounded warrior in the rider weight deck. Obviously this is not what we're getting here. Um, what I get here is that when I look at this little girl in the background, you can't help but look at her face. She is like so upset. Um, she really wants the attention of, I don't know if this is her parents or she's, I feel like it's probably her parents. So it's like, she's looking at them like, Hey, go rent a room, um, pay some attention to me. So I feel like your person is going to try to get your attention in some way. They want your attention. So I feel like maybe even you have pulled back your energy a little bit, but this person is definitely focused on you and they are craving your attention. They want that attention so bad. We have a lot of wands there. So I do feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Let's pull two things for where things are headed in this connection in the next 30 days. Where are things headed for this connection in the next 30 days? And this is not exact. So please, you know, I'm not responsible for time. I'm not responsible for situations. This is just kind of like a guided thing here. Um, you know, obviously timing can change. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. This person is definitely going to be expressing more emotions. Um, this could also be you expressing some more emotions. There's definitely deep love here. King of Cups is Scorpio energy. What else? You have the Emperor. Yeah, this person is going to take charge. Um, the Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with. And the Emperor is all about creating stability, um, rebuilding this connection from the ground up. Um, so this person is going to take charge. They're going to make a plan. Um, the emperor, he will act out um, if necessary. 
Uh, this is also seen as husband, father. So I do feel like, um, you know, this is a, a very, very strong soul connection that you have with this person. Yeah, I feel like you're going to see this person taking some action here. They're going to make some kind of plan to try to reconnect with you, to convince you to give them a second chance. Um, and there is deep love here. So I feel like that's going to be revealed. Emotions are definitely going to be talked about. Um, but again, I would just wait on the timing of this person. I wouldn't try to reach out to them first. I wouldn't try to reconnect. I would let this person come to you because the emperor has that ability too. He's very masculine. Um, he doesn't let anything get in his way. He knows what he wants. Um, he's like the epitome of all of the kings in tarot. So he has like a balance of every single king. Um, so he's very well balanced. So I would just let him, this person, I'm saying him, it could be a girl, um, come towards you and, you know, proceed to have this conversation that needs to be had and start leading things towards something long term. Um, basically, you need to be patient here because I know you're, you're waiting for this person just to tell you, are you keeping me as an option? What are your plans? Um, but I feel like don't try to lead them into that conversation. Okay, so Libra, in the extended, we're going to be looking at things 100% from your person's point of view. I'm going to look at how they see the current situation, how they see the past with you, what's happening around your person in the next four weeks, what are they currently thinking about, what's their current energy, how they see you, um, what could be a hindrance or helping them towards progression with this connection. Um, what do they hope for, a wish, a fear, or possible action? And what do they hope for as a potential outcome with you? To have access to the extended, you need to join the channel membership, which is $9.99 per month. And that gives you access to all of the extended for a full 30 days. Um, to join the channel membership, click the join button down below if you're on a laptop. If you're on a cell phone, you'll need to open up the description box and there's a link to the channel membership there. Also in the description box is a link to where the extended reading is for this. Thank you so much for watching Libra and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.